Help coach, I've completely fallen off and I need your advice because I wanna get back on track. The first thing I wanna tell you guys is that don't worry about it because you're not always going to be on point. Even I, there's times of the year where I'm just like, I don't wanna work out and I go in and I just do it. The one thing that I'm gonna tell you right now is that you always feel better after a workout. Now I'm not gonna bore you with more of the same because I've always said that. If anything, injured, if you're feeling depressed, if you're unmotivated, if you're feeling fat, the best thing that I would tell you to do is just go and work out because it's going to take one step closer to getting you back on track. Now today we're gonna to talk about how to get you back on track and I'm gonna give you the three ways. Now before I do that guys, give the video a like and you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. So number one is that you need to stop talking and you need to start acting. Number two is that you need to take immediate action and number three is that you need to set a short-term goal. So starting with number one, is that you notice that the people that have the biggest problems are the ones that generally either don't talk about it at all and just hold it in and then they ghost, or number two, which I hear about, is that they constantly are talking about the wrong things. They're talking about the things that they don't like. They're talking about the motivation that they don't have. So what I want you to do is to be the person that changes that cycle is that you need to start telling yourself the opposite. You need to be happy for what you have. You need to be grateful for your abilities. And you need to tell yourself that you're winning. And it's gonna be hard, and it's gonna feel fake. But I'm gonna tell you this, that the more that you plant positive seeds in your own brain, that the more that they're going to grow and sprout and be outwards. Now here's the thing, you need to catch yourself. You need to catch yourself when you're having these negative moments and tell yourself to do the opposite. You might have to jump around like a crazy person. You might have to go, woo! You might have to take a cold shower. But whatever it is, you need to shake it off immediately, shake off the negative, and stop talking about the things that you don't want. Start talking about the things that you do. Number two is that you need to take immediate action. You need to put down that Starbucks caramel macchiato drink and you need to pick up the water. Don't say that you'll start Monday or that you'll start after summer. You need to start right now. If it's in your brain, you need to act on it right now. You need to stop nibbling in the pantry or having snacks stored by your desk and you need to force down that protein shake. You guys remember in the last video where I said, have four protein shakes a day and make it mandatory when you first wake up in the middle of the day. So instead of having these little junk food snacks next to your desk, Get rid of them, have your protein shake ready to go so that all you have to do is add water. So what you need to do is you need to prove to yourself that you can win by taking immediate action. So if you've been missing workouts and you have a lunch break at work, or even if you don't have work and you're just sitting at home and you're just like, oh, I need to get back on track, get your ass outside, go for a walk, go for a run, Book your workout for that evening. Never mind if you're a morning person or a mid-morning person. If it's 2 p.m. and you're like, oh, I'm falling off track, what do I need to do, coach? Never mind, you're gonna go work out at 4.30, 5.15, or 6 p.m. You're gonna book a workout in, you're gonna go for a run, you're gonna put down that Starbucks, you're gonna stop nibbling on those snacks, you're going to force a protein shake, you're going to prove yourself that you can win. And you're gonna prove to yourself that you can win immediately by taking immediate action. And step number three is that you need to sh set a short-term goal that you can't back out of. And the best way to do that is that you should make gym dates, right? You don't wanna be the flake, right? We often let ourselves down and we feel okay with letting ourselves down. Obviously we don't feel good about it, but we repeatedly do it. But as soon as we get other people involved and we're like, hey, Jerome, let's go for a workout at this time on this date. There's a good chance that I'm gonna show up because I don't wanna let this guy down. And even though it's like a very grasping goal and it's like, oh my God, I gotta keep reaching out to people to like book these gym dates. The more you book these gym dates, the more that you commit to somebody else, you're deeper diving into the commitment of your own goal. So step number three is that you need to set a short-term goal that you can't back out of it. So there we have it guys, the three steps to get yourself out of the funk and to get yourself back on track is that you need to stop talking about the things that you don't want and start saying the wins and the things that you're going to do. Number two is that you're going to take immediate action. Not Monday, not next month, but right now. This next hour, you're gonna make something happen that you're gonna prove to yourself that you can win. And then number three, you're going to commit your goal to somebody else without them even knowing. 
By booking your gym dates, you're going to make a short-term commitment that's going to help you reach your goal faster and make a commitment because you don't want to let them down. So before you go, give the video a like, hit the subscribe button, and if you're looking to get started, you just want to get your journey started, and you've been watching our videos, give us a contact. Send us a text. We can start you off simple. Five days for five bucks. If you're a long-term member and you've fallen off, you have access to me. You have access to our team. But you can also sign up for the next Billy Burn because that could be the short-term commitment that you're needing to make so that you can make sure that you get on track and that you stay on track longer than you fall off track. Because guess what? We're all going to fall off at some point in time, but it's a matter of how we get back on. We'll see you on the next video.